will open up my file explorer go to downloads extract nssm so 7-zip extract files and i will choose documents and click ok and then ok again and once nssm is inside my documents i can go back to powershell and cd nssm and do an ls here now here there's another folder called nssm so i will cd into that and do an ls from here I need to go into Win64 because my machine is a Windows 64 machine. If you are on a Windows 32 bit machine, you need to go into this directory. So I will go into Win64. So CD Win64. Now, if I do an ls here, there will be an exe file called nssm.exe. So I will do dot slash nssm dot exe and to show you the usage i will just hit enter here now the usage is nssm one of the options and then some arguments to install a service we need to use nssm install so here we will type in dot slash nssm dot exe space install and now we need to give the service name so kibana and hit enter once we've hit enter it opens up a dialog box and inside that dialog box on the application tab we need to specify the path for the batch file for kibana i'll click on this button here then we'll go to documents kibana kibana and then bin and from here i will specify kibana batch file and click on open now i'll open up the details tab i can type in some details so i'll type in kibana and description will be kibana as well you can specify the startup type it can be automatic automatic delayed manual or disabled we'll leave this as automatic you can specify the logon as information here dependencies of this service the process priority shutdown behavior but we we'll leave everything as default and click on install service after it's given me a confirmation that kibana service was installed i can click on ok and that will take off the dialog box to check the status of kibana service i can type in nsmsum.exe space status kibana and hit enter it says service stop so first we have to start this service so nssm.exe space start space kibana and i'll hit enter now i've got confirmation that this service operation was completed successfully so i'll go to my services.msc window i'll refresh this and i'll go to my kibana service and i can see that the kibana service is running now it took a few minutes for my kibana instance to come back up but it is up now i can click on explore on my own and start working on my kibana ui if you like this video please subscribe to our youtube channel if you like this video please subscribe to our youtube channel